doctor looked at the x-ray, said that I'd fractured my back and that was the point in time when I realised that what I'd done was probably going to be life changing. So at the start of this year I went to visit my sister um, and she'd been living in Canada for a while so I decided to do a ski trip and go and ski in Sun Peaks just, and catch up with her. I probably had about five days left of my trip and we were just going down a run and I was getting more and more confident and going faster and I lost control and I landed on my back and I instantly knew I had done something because I had severe pain and I was winded and I felt like I was going to pass out. Once I got the x-ray done, the doctors came out and said, oh, as you can see on this x-ray, you've crushed one of your vertebrae completely and you're going to need surgery tonight. You'll be in a brace for three months and you'll have chronic back pain for the rest of your life. The process of trying to get me home was, was made by one cover. I definitely wasn't able to be sitting upright. I had to be horizontal for my flight and one cover within a couple of hours had already booked business flights on the next appropriate flight for me to get home. When I got home, I thought it was going to take me two months, maybe three of uh, recovery, which turned into almost five. So having the um, loss of income benefit in the policy meant that I could actually make it to physio and Pilates and pay for some medications and also have a, a small amount of social life, which was really important for being off work for such a long period of time. Definitely having a, a life-changing injury like this has changed my perspective on my health and my body and looking after it and how fragile it can be. Throughout my whole recovery now, I've been told by multiple neurosurgeons and doctors how lucky I am that I didn't do anything more serious. I could have potentially very likely been a paraplegic.